Mr. Mistopheles. You ought to know Mr. Mistopheles, the original conjuring cat. There can be no doubt about that. Please listen to me and don't scoff. All his inventions are off his own bat. There's no such cat in the metropolis. He holds all the patent monopolies for performing surprising illusions and creating eccentric confusions at prestidigitation and at ledger domain. He'll defy examination and deceive you again. The greatest magicians have something to learn from Mr. Mistopheles. Conjuring turn. Presto, away we go. And we all say, oh, well, I never. Was there ever a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles? He is quiet and small. He is black. From his ears to the tip of his tail, he can creep through the tiniest crack. He can walk on the narrowest rail. He can pick any card from a pack. He's equally cunning with dice. He is always deceiving you into believing that he's only hunting for mice. He can play any trick with a cork or a spoon and a bit of fresh fish paste. If you look for a knife or a fork and you think it's merely misplaced, you have seen it one moment and then it is gone. But you'll find it next week lying out in the lawn. And we all say, oh, well, I never. Was there ever a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles? His manner is vague and aloof. You would think there was nobody shyer. But his voice has been heard on the roof when he was curled up by the fire. And he's sometimes been heard by the fire when he was about on the roof. At least we all heard that somebody purred, which is incontestable proof of his singular magical powers and I have known the family to call him in from the garden for hours while he was asleep in the hall and not long ago this phenomenal cat produced seven kittens right out of a hat and we all said oh well I never did you ever know a cat so clever as magical Mr. Mistopheles now, much more magical is how you, it's, a person can notice around spiritual behaviors, uh, particularly beings that, you know, modern science can't prove, but a person can sometimes witness. Um, the behavior of cats and other animals can be different. The behavior of children can be different too. Like. They'll know exactly where something is. And you think you're the only one who's seen it or something. And no, they're, they're playing with the fairies or whatnot too. Well, I mean, they're interacting with them. Playing with's not quite the word. Um, so we're talking conjuring or seher, I guess. And that doesn't have to take place. There's beings here 